Uh, how do you report and issue a 1099 MISC, which is a 1099 miscellaneous? Uh, and then is it too late for 2018? Jeff, you love these things. Uh, how do you report? Well, you're just reporting payments made to others that aren't, are not corporations. Non-corporations over 600 bucks. Over 600 bucks for services, mm -hmm. uh, not for materials purchased. Uh, so you, you would actually report that on a Form 1099 with that vendor or whoever's name on there. Uh, yeah, now you're a little late for 2018. It was actually due, what, uh, January 31st was the first due date? Yeah, the ones with box, the, the non-employee compensation, we call it, your independent contractor. So those had to be filed by January 31st. Uh, the rest of the 1099 MISC had to be filed by yesterday. Oh, so we can go back in time a day. What happens if you file late? If you file late, it's usually a penalty of $50 per, per uh, 1099. What if you just don't file? And they catch you? Yeah. Oh, that's a much bigger penalty of $50. <laughs> don't file. No, I'm not going to say don't file. I'm not yeah. going to say don't file. And, and, and here, here's the thing. I mean, if it's a 1099 between your, your you and your kids or somebody you know, uh, it, it's maybe a little more important when you you need to report that income to a third party yeah. who has to have that information. All right, so I'm going to give you guys my 1099 story. We were one of 50,000 companies that were, when they did these mid-sized company audits for their, uh, they, what they did is they went after everybody looking at their payrolls and independent contractors. They wanted to make sure that they weren't classifying employees and independent contractors. You're going to see this is a pattern with the, with the service, the IRS. So they did 50,000 companies. We were one of 50,000 companies. I want to say it was about 10 years ago. But they go through all of your payrolls. They go through all of your contractors. And you have to have either a W-4 for your employer or a W-9 for your contractors. Right. And we had a couple that we didn't have 10, uh, W-9s on that were corporations, but they had since expired. So this is kind of a this is kind of the rub. You're looking at it going, wait a second, these companies, one was a landscape company, another one was a magician, and it ended up being number two in America's Got Talent. So like we were watching him and we were cursing his name because he cost us 700 bucks. And here's how. If you don't 1099 or you don't have your W-9, you're not in compliant, compliance, then you have to pay a withholding. Even though they probably paid the tax, it doesn't matter if they paid the tax, the IRS can come and say, you have to pay your 28%. So we ended up paying like 700 bucks. It was like, we looked at it and said, it's cheaper just to pay it than to try to track these guys down and get all this stuff because they weren't answering phone calls and it was just kind of annoyed. Yeah, this is one reason why we, we often say that before you pay any of your vendors, make sure you have a W-9. Uh, because if you pay me and then ask me for tax reporting information later, there's a good chance I'm not going to give you that information. Mm -hmm. So you better do it. Better do it before you give them the money. Yep, that's what we, we do. It's like, here, W-9 and I'll, and I'll send you a check. Somebody's asking about Michael Avenetti. You guys are horrible. How did he get away with not filing for 10 years? Did he not file for 10 years? I'm not aware of that. All I know is that you're assuming he got away with it because the last time I checked, he's under indictment. <laughs> <laughs> he's been charged with tax fraud and with all sorts of heinous stuff. Like he messed with Nike. Don't mess with gorillas, guys. Here's a, here, here's a hint. Don't poke the bear. Nike is a big, huge company. And they said, oh, I'm an Adi. Within a week, he was he was being arrested which is bizarre because you can't get the feds to do anything in a week, but all of a sudden you just woke up the bear and the bear is going to take a bite out of you. And, I was shocked. Uh, he seemed always seemed like such a nice guy. Such a creepy foreign lawyer. <laughs> I know that's what you guys are all thinking. Yeah, no, no. He was really doing a nice thing by helping somebody blackmail. <clears throat> no, I'm not even going to get into that. Lawyers bug me. All right. Oh, God. Uh, he messed with Trump or was that stormy? You guys are horrible. We uncorked something here. You guys are all being honored.